guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a foundation chain and then also work singles and doubles. You're going to start by folding your yarn over like this and then rotating it so that it makes an awareness ribbon shape. Then you're going to push the long piece of yarn through that hole and pull it tight. So one more time, you're going to fold it over, turn it so that it makes an awareness ribbon shape. Take the long piece and push it through the hole, pull it up and pull it tight. Now, the way that you want to work into and make a chain is you're going to insert your hook through the hole, pull this tight, but not too tight. You want your hook to move freely through there. So then you're going to bring your yarn around your hook and pull it through and that's a chain. So that's one, two, three, four, we're going to go ahead and make 10, so I'm going to move a little bit more quickly here. So again, you're going to rotate under and pull that through. Okay, now when you look here, each of your stitches is these little V's. So we're going to work into the second one from the hook. So you have the first and the second. And you're going to yarn over and pull up a stitch. Yarn over again and pull through both. So again, you're going to insert your hook into that little V, rotate and pull up a, a piece of yarn in your loop, yarn over again and pull through both. That's a single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. Now to keep your tension nice and even, what you want to do is when you pull up that first loop, you want your hook to be parallel with the top of your stitches. That'll have everything be nice and even. So we're gonna work all the way to the end of this, and then we're gonna turn it over and I'll show you how to do doubles. Okay. Now I find that when I turn my projects, it's easier to do the chain before. So in our case, since we're going to do doubles, we're going to chain two. So we're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, and then we're going to turn it over. So to do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, then insert your hook into your first stitch. Which again, I'm going to show you is right here. It's the very first hole. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. So you should have three loops. So then you're going to yarn over and pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the second two and that's an American double stitch. So again, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, bring your hook up parallel to the row here, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through the last two. And we do this all the way to the end. And this is your very last stitch at the end. Now, if you work those, you're making your rows and you don't insert your hook into this very last stitch here, and this very first stitch, your, your project is going to start decreasing in the sides here. So if your project starts to kind of come in this way, that's what your problem is, and you're missing those one of those stitches, depending on which ones are moving. So there you go. Now you're ready to do foundation chains, single crochets, and double crochets. 